So we got my binoculars right there because we're going to be taking a look at the houses. And guys, before we dive too far into this, how to add floors to more houses? Yes, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to add extra floors to your homes. Now, this is going to be insane, but let's like spike it up, guys. Now, on the live streams, we always do this thing called a like spike where a lot of people come together and hit the like button at once. And if two people out there hit the like button at the same time, it's going to spike the likes up, dude. Let's see what we can do on a video, dude. Our first like spiked video, dude. But that be the case, let's dive in on how to add some floors, extra floors to your homes. Now, we need to do this to the biggest house in Brookhaven already. And what I mean by that is, let's find a house in Brookhaven that already has like 10 floors. And then add another 10 floors. Dude, this shouldn't even be possible, bro, but it is. So, what is that side view? Dude, what am I doing? Anyway, so, let's actually go to the top of the hill because we want to be as far up to the heavens as we possibly can in this one. And uh, we're going to move into Crown Point here. Also, guys, what's up with people saying that this is like a haunted world? road parkland is a haunted road huh i don't know dude it's no it, parkland is like apparently a haunted road i don't know dude but let's go ahead and swallow this in now we have a whole array of houses right now we knew with the construction update guys you could like customize your house and stuff but the only problem was you couldn't add more floors to this house right like it was kind of impossible to add more floors to this home just because like it has a it, like it, the roof caps off and that's it dude so let's find a house that is actually really tall this one's tall not bad not bad we might can do that. Um, that actually might be the biggest house in Brookhaven. Honestly, dude, look at the what is this house, dude? It's like all like sideways and stuff. Uh, you guys want me to add another floor to the castle? That would be kind of insane too. All right, so let's actually spawn this one because it already has like what four or five four or five floors like let's look at this let's look at this guys one two three four that's a four okay 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 that's nice dude that's nice so guys i also want to just take a look at the props dude the props allow you to do so much stuff in this game it's actually crazy dude like um you know what dude let's actually add let's go here let's actually put a playstation into my house dude look at this dude let's put a playstation into my house here boom you know i'm gonna get a series x too dude i'm in this giant house dude you can't even see that thing it blends in but that be the case let's put my phone here on the counter awesome dude look at this setup you know what i want some arcade machines dude where can i put my arcade machines uh i'm gonna put them right here against the wall i guess let's do that there's one there. No, dude, get, get, line, line it up a bit. Line, line it up a bit, dude. Don't, don't give me that. Okay, no, that looks way better. Let's put it against the wall. No, dude, right there. And then let's place. Let's, let's just change the position. Okay, that's, dude, that'll work. And then let's, let's put some like right here. And here, dude. I feel like I'm playing like a simulator game, dude. Look at this, dude. Playing Tetris in like 2024. Who am I, dude? Well, I, I, apparently, I don't want to play Tetris. I want to play the tank game, dude. Look at this tank game, dude. Tank simulator. Uh, but yeah, so we got all kinds of props, dude, that can make your house absolutely fantastic. Now, if I want to add another floor to this house, how am I going to go about doing that? Well, let's go ahead and head to the top floor. Oh my god, dude. I did not want to put an arcade machine in there. All right, so. Let's go here and get the hidden spatula, dude. Look at this, dude. We got the spatula. Now, guys, this is just a fun item because, guys, this spatula is like, this is one of the only houses you can get this spatula, actually. So, you know, you can go flip some stuff around, dude. We got spatulas now, dude. 10 out of 10 spatula. But if I'm going to be a construction worker I, and add, how, you know, things to my house, dude, I need to get some, uh, I need to get me a uh, awesome little thing here, dude. I need to get this, uh, this little ladder here and then I need to jump up here. Okay, that didn't work too well. All right, let's put the ladder a little bit closer and jump up there. There we go. Now, this is perfect. Why is there a tree in the middle? All right, this is perfect, dude. So now we got this, guys. We are going to start constructing the next floor to our home. Now, I do want to say, guys, this is going to work a lot more better if you have friends. I don't have friends. They all hate me. But if you have friends, you can add additional props to make this even easier. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to come down here. And then we're going to grab, dude, these cardboard boxes are amazing as well, guys. By the way, we were building on the live stream, guys. We were building towers, uh, and, and we, we made box haven, basically. We made box haven. We made towers and homes and houses and everything, dude. It was so cool. We made awesome hideouts with these boxes. Um, like I said, if you do it with your friends, you can kind of stack props on top of each other a lot easier and effectively. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot more props introduced in future updates as well. So we should take note on that. But if you're going to make like box haven or you're going to make a hideout with boxes, be aware that people can set these on fire. Now, of course, you got to have a fire extinguisher on you at all hands. But yeah, with this, guys, also with the props, like there's fire now, right? So if we come here, people can set your boxes on fire. So make sure you keep a fire extinguisher handy now let's get down to constructing this guys if you will notice we now have the props that allow us to put up walls 
huh so now we can do this and in future updates we're gonna probably get the roofing and the other props as well but for now dude we have these right here right so now i can take this and i can start placing them alongside the wall here holy moly dude this is working okay so let's place them alongside the wall there we go on oh my god what was that um now honestly i should probably be placing these a little bit closer to each other but because these are spaced out but honestly i can go back and fix that i can go back and fix that i'll show you guys how so all right let's go ahead and put this here absolutely amazing dude all right so now we have kind of our walls up but there's some missing components here so um like for example this side this could probably use one of these so boom and look at that it finished the wall so like this one is kind of skinnier so we could put one of these or actually honestly we probably need to put like two of these like that oh no let's put it right there boom and then that finished that so this one we could probably put another one of these perfect dude look at this the wall is shaping up then we'll put another one of these here and yeah guys we can just go back and kind of fix it up like that uh first off dude get the time right get the time right there that's much better so um yeah so you can go back and put up the remaining uh walls that you need by filling them in with all the parts that you have you have all the parts you need to make your wall as solid as possible but there's one thing now that's missing the actual walls now we got the base up how are we gonna actually get some privacy here well right now obviously the best thing that we could probably do i think okay where is it now we could put the boxes up dude but ooh, ooh, what the, what, the, what the good is that gonna do right that's not gonna do us any good so let's actually go up to where is it where is it on the props and dude the, the, and guys i urge you guys to just experiment around with this yourself and you will see unlimited possibilities so uh dude why can't i find the props that i'm looking for right here? okay so this one it's gonna be really darn good dude so if you come along through here and you start placing these dude nobody can look in with these dude nobody can look in with these dude oh my god i'm at the max prop limit dude okay hold up hold up let me let me get rid of some of these for now okay so like i said if you do this with your friends you're gonna be able to not hit the max prop limit as quickly like i am but um yeah that's just the problem with this okay so let's go ahead and hit this along through here and boom dude now look now that's really good because people cannot see in guys look at this look at this right look at that dude i've added a whole nother floor up here dude i'm constructing okay i'm constructing right now so that be the case dude once you're up here dude there's really no uh like limit on what you can do like you can do all kinds of stuff so like right um we have this up here right oh that's what was taking up all these little ones were messing me up all right so um now that i'm up here dude i can actually add some other cool fun stuff so if we come down here and we look um uh, where is it what i'm looking for right here so i can actually add like a um, like a, a, a medical tent I can come over here and add like one of these, dude. I got houses on houses. So, okay, I want to make a changing room. So how am I going to do that? Well, here's a little, little trick on making a changing room. Let's get our clothes and let's put them here. And then let's put some clothes here. And then what we want to do is then go back to here and put one of these. And now we have a changing room. Look at that, dude. So now I can come here and I can put on new clothes. Oh, let's not do that. Okay, uh, oh, what is this emoji, dude? Okay, we got an emoji, we got glow gang. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, so I can sit here and change through different clothes. All right, dude, look at this, dude. It's a uh, marshmallow or something. Dude, give me something good at least. Why did all these clothes, dude? Get okay, this is a nice little jacket, dude. This is a nice jacket, we will take the jacket, okay? So um, that's also how you make a changing room in Brookhaven. I figured I'd include that in this video as well because it's a kind of cool thing you can do. But maybe Make sure, guys, if you make this type of changing room, that you put uh, the clothes down first. Because if you don't, then it, sometimes it can mess up and delete this uh, the tent. So that's pretty cool, right? And guys, on top of the topic of the changing room, on top of the topic, what? Um, let's go ahead and set our speed here and get to going fast. 360. Okay, so um, you guys know the Rockstar Store. It's another place that you can change clothes, right? Well, that that changing room that I just showed you, you guys can make it in the Rockstar Store to add your own changing room to the store. Now, the Rockstar Store used to be two stories and have changing rooms upstairs, but through various updates, it's now the dentistry. But yeah, so in this corner here, you could put the changing room if you wanted. Um, so let's actually showcase that real quick. So um, let's go here and add our clothes here, um, like so and then let's go back and then put this here and now we have a changing room inside of the store so we can change our clothes here too 
Awesome, dude. I'm a pepperoni pizza. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, right, guys? So, yeah, that's how you add new floors to the houses in Brookhaven uh, at the current time. Like I said, I think the props are going to get increased so we can actually put even roofing parts and stuff as well, which is going to be pretty cool. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on all the videos. Honestly, it's going to be crazy. And if you haven't seen the video earlier today about how to spawn sharks on land, definitely go watch that one as well. We're about to start doing some nutty stuff. See you guys in the next one.